Yes. And then um, before we um, close out, Dr. Savi, can you please talk a bit about gluten? I got a confession about for you. About gluten? Oh, gluten. Yes. Yes, yes. Gluten. I remember when I was a Seventh-day Adventist. Mm hmm And the Seventh-day Adventist specializes in gluten. Mm hmm And gluten, again, is starch. There is a sweetener that I recommend that I use every day. They call it the agave nectar. Mm -hmm. It is the only sweetener that came to be gluten-free. Mm -hmm. Why it is said that why it is gluten-free? Why it make that specific statement? Because mm -hmm. all others have gluten in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what mm -hmm. is gluten? Gluten is starch. Mm -hmm. Starch again mm -hmm. is carbonic acid. Gluten clogs the system. It rots in the system. It weighs the system down. Gluten rob you of your iron and the liver. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, sulfide. Gluten will mm -hmm. deliver sulfide in your body. So, okay, so the gluten cancels out your iron and the sulfides, and so that's the ground for a lot of the cancer. It delivers sulfides, which causes cancer. I'm sorry. Okay, so you said sulfides. Sulfides. Sulfides rob you of iron. They rob you of oxygen. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm clear, you know, for me and um, for everybody that's listening. So when you say the sulfides, that's what, oxidized sulfur? Sometimes. Are you saying S-U-L-F-I-D-E-S? S-U-L-F-I-D-E-S. Sometimes. Okay, uh-huh. Sometimes are the, are the residuals of the gluten, like lactic acid, the residual of milk. Mm hmm You see it now? Mm hmm I see, I see. Sometimes mm -hmm. are the, res it, it's like, it, it is, it is the result of the presence of gluten. Sometimes, which is bad. It, they rob you of oxygen. Sometimes rob you of oxygen. I see what you're saying. So we have to so like, it, mm -hmm. When we buy bread, we, we should buy the one that says spelt bread or kamut bread. In kamut. How do you spell that? Yes. Yes, kamut. How was that spelled? Is that K-A-M-U-T or? K-H-M-U-T. Okay, K-H. K-H-A-M-U-T, Kamut. And so, as far as like um, wheat, I like flat breads and things of that nature, or they will that's have like um, certain, and like wheat those multi-grain breads and stuff like that? Uh huh. No, that's bad, that's bad, that's no good. Flat bread, mm -hmm. Kamut bread, and, and, and as for mm -hmm. grains to eat like rice, you could also mm -hmm. buy the Fonio, F-O-N-I-O, Fonio. Go to the website and you're going to see it and order it. It's a very good grain. It has no starch. It's an mm -hmm. African grain. Thinking everybody, that website is www.drsebi. What's your take on wild rice or um, black rice? Black rice is no good. That's starch. Wild rice is good. Wild rice is very good. I eat wild rice and I eat fonio. Fonio okay. tastes better than wild rice, but it's just as good. Mm -hmm. They both are good. Wild rice and fonio. Try fonio and you will love it. You could do so many things. You could even mm -hmm. make tamales with fonio. Ooh, okay. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Vegetable tamales. Oh, and they're delicious. Mm, okay. Okay. So, with that fonio, is it like a fine, like, grain, like how um, the couscous would be? Yeah, fonio is like couscous, but the couscous is okay. starch, but fonio has no starch. I'm glad that I asked that, because what I have found um, from time to time, when I do um, get by, I mean, cook couscous, I notice that if I don't actually, like, grill up, like, um, some herbs and some hot peppers, especially if I put, like, scotch bonnets or something in it, then if I didn't have that, I could just, my body would just start rejecting. And some of that starch was just the mucus. Well, I guess it was just it was the starch that's coming up. And what made me, what um, that made me think about was that with babies, you know how, and see, they always say that, you know, you got to birth the baby after they eat. Or they say the baby is constantly, like, spitting up the food. And it has been passed um, in our society for us to just accept that that's something that babies just do. But what I'm seeing is that no, the babies are just rejecting the starch from the body. That's right. Well, my mm -hmm. baby, my baby eats mm -hmm. fonio and she eats mm -hmm. and she drinks cinnamon and hemp seed milk. Hemp seed milk 
and she more. Mm-hmm. And she is just as healthy and she just mm-hmm. as heavy and she just mm-hmm. as energetic. But I give her iron mm-hmm. every day because we, we have a special baby food. We call it mm-hmm. yeah, banjo. Banjo? Banjo makes mm-hmm. any baby fly and, and, and sweat the immune system. All these mm-hmm. things we have to bring to the public to ward off disease and prevent us from spending so much money trying to get healthy and our babies too. Express your babies. We want our babies healthy. Yes, yes, yes. And I mean, that's mandatory. You know, new life, having to build, and everything that they intake is going to be the foundation of the livelihood. And on that note, Dr. Sabi, what is in Similac? Similac? Yes, sir. You mean that ba- that milk? Yes, that powder milk that they give a lot of the mothers and stuff and what they buy to um, give what to the children. The what they call it, formula? They call, that's the other name for it? it? It's dried cow milk with other chemicals in it. Mm-hmm. And all the mother have to do to avoid mm-hmm. any kind of pitfalls is to buy mm-hmm. some hemp seed and, and put it in the blender with some water and it turns to milk and you cook mm-hmm. some sea moss and you mix that with some vanilla and you sweeten that with some Agave and your baby gonna love that than anything you could put in their mouth. A little girl came to visit me tonight with the daddy. Mm-hmm. And the little girl is mm-hmm. a year and five months. When the mama gave her what my wife gave her to drink, that baby didn't want to let go that, that cup. She mom and half milk. That baby didn't want to let go the cup. Oh my God, the baby went crazy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a little girl. Wow. Mm-hmm. A pretty little girl. The mama mm-hmm. said, look at my baby. My baby love it. Okay, I got a high to drink my stuff. <laughs> got to have a stash. I hear you. Mm-hmm. But wow. So Dr. So Sabi, I mean. We get, mm-hmm. we get bought some land from Lisa mm-hmm. Lopez to build a mm-hmm. children village that we could begin to treat sick children in a beautiful environment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when you wow. come to I mean, our doors, mm-hmm. we want you to mm-hmm. see and we want you to, and we want you to give us suggestions because we are open for suggestions. Ah, that's a deal. That's a deal. And I thank you for inviting me. And I thank you for that. Thank you for accepting. Mm-hmm. Yes, we're um, pretty much um, winding down, and, you know, I noticed that, you know, we didn't have any other callers coming in, so, but um, Dr. Sabi, was there anything else that you wanted to share with the people before we close out? Well, I always think of this when I'm asked this question. Mm -hmm. Whenever we leave our house to go in the street, Mm -hmm. the first person you see, Mm -hmm. you look at them in their face and you give them the love that you would like to receive from them. You give them. So you're saying having that, um, that old time, um, old fashioned upbringing type love that really acknowledging the people that you may not even really know. Mm -hmm. You don't have to know that. They need Mm -hmm. your love. They need theirs. Right. Well, I want to thank you so much, Dr. Sabi. Because you know, I, I was trying to read this so much too. Yes, yes.